If you're like me when I first started BDO, I felt like a magic carp knowing only two skills and flailing around just mashing buttons till the monsters die. But after watching some streamers and some videos, I learned that there were crowd controls, buff and debuffs that can help you out in combat. Now after devoting a little bit of time on it and researching a bit more on it, I evolved into a beautiful muscular magic card. So for today's video, I wanted to go over crowd controls, buffs and debuffs to help out new players understand this a little bit more so they can apply these once they go out in combat. So before we go to the next section, I just wanted to put it out there that this is a simplified guide geared towards newer players so that they do not get overwhelmed with information. So for this section, we're going to be talking about the icons for the CC's protection, extenders, and special attacks. So the way that you would see that is by hitting the K key. And you would see over here, it would show you the skill demo window and also the skills on the right side. So whatever you click on the right side or your skills, it would show you how it's animated and how it's executed. Now, one thing that you would need to look at are the little icons below the name of your skills. So for example, this whirlpool, there's a down attack and an air attack. And then on your wave pout, there is the floating and the air attack and so on and so forth. So the way that you would know which skills have the certain CC is by hitting this skill filter on the top left part of the skill window and scrolling to this and selecting the ones that you would want. So over here, you would see like there's the black spirit skills, the skill add-ons if you do have some, and the three protections, the invincible, super armor, and forward guard, the crowd controls, which is the knockdown, floating, bound, stun, stiffness, knockback, grapple, and the special one for the witch and wizard, which is freezing. The CC extenders, the down smash and the air smash. And the special attack modifiers, the down attack and the air attack. So the best thing to do next is just click on the skills, see how it's animated, and then go to the bottom part of your skill window, toggle the skill demo screen, and it will bring you back into the game while keeping the skill window up. With this setup, you would be able to see which skills have a specific CC with the glowing borders. And you could just highlight that skill to see what buttons you need to press and in order to execute that one. So for the close quarter, it's just like down LMB and you can see that the CC got applied. So let's first define what a CC is. And these are the actions that you perform or your skills that render your opponents unable to operate normally or perform any actions. So the game puts your enemies on a certain state after you have successfully hit them. And that is what we call the CC states. And I will be detailing that on the following CCs. But for now, we're going to explore the basics for it. When your character is standing on two feet or even just like running around like this, that is considered a standing state. When you put your enemies to the ground and their back is firmly planted, that is the grounded state. And once they start getting up, that is the recovery state. Air state is when your enemy gets launched into the air. And lastly is the grab state. This is the animation of the grab before your enemy gets grounded. So to give clarity to this, the main purpose for this one is to make sure that your enemy is in a constant CC state so that they would not be able to react to you on anything and you will be able to dish out the damage to them with your skills with CCs. Knockdown puts your enemy into an air state followed by a grounded state and their recovery state. A floating CC puts your enemy up into the air, make them float for a bit, and then ground them up until they recover. The bound is just like a knockdown, but there's no air state, meaning that they will be put immediately onto the ground. The stun puts your enemies into an animation where they are unable to perform any actions during that time. Stiffness stuns your enemies, but for a shorter duration. Knockback pushes your enemy back, 
and applies a short stiffen at the end. The next one is the grapple and this one varies from class to class as some classes do not have grapple skills and others have multiple ones. So for Corsair for example, what it does is once you activate it, it would put your enemy in a grab state and into a bounded state. Freezing unfortunately is just reserved for the witch and wizard class and it puts your enemy on an ice block that reduces incoming damage for them which breaks and then puts them on the bounded state. Moving on now to the CC extenders, these are special types of CCs and you cannot use them without a specific condition applied on the enemy. So for down smashes they have to be on the ground in order for it to trigger. If I use a skill, let's say crashing wave, on an enemy then it would not have an effect on it. But if I use a bound and then the down smash, then you can see that the grounded state is reapplied after the first initial grounded state. As mentioned previously, the air smash needs to have your enemy floating in order for it to apply. So one example is the skill of the Corsair wave bout puts them in the air and then reapplies the floating state briefly. So there is kind of like a good and bad side together for CC and that is the CC limit. Now for each CC that you apply to an enemy like the grounded state, that would be counted as one CC. And if you follow up that one with another one, then that would count as two. Now the only exception is the stiffen which puts you at 0.7 counter, which means that you could do a stiffen followed by a grounding, then another CC. So the good thing about this one though too is that your enemy cannot put you into the ground and make you stay there forever. It means that you could use skills that have protection such as frontal guard, which protects you from your front in a cone shape from any damage and CCs. And then there's temporary iframes that put you in an invincible state where you are immune to any damage or any CCs. And there is our super armors where it protects you from CCs, but it doesn't protect you from any damage. Before we proceed to the attack modifiers, um, you could go to the setting and make sure that your attack decisions are on in order for you to see if those modifiers are applying on your attacks. Damage modifiers in the game applies a specific percentage of damage, which means that this is affected by your gear, your crystal, the food buffs that you have, some of the elixirs that you have. So I'm going to skip most of that one and would leave that up to you, especially testing it out on PvE and PvP. But let's go over the basics on these ones. Critical attacks adds 100%, making it 200% in terms of damage, and this is calculated per hit. Back attack happens when you are at the cone behind your enemy, and this gives 150% damage in PvE and 120% damage on PvP. Also, the critical applies to this one, so it means that it's going to be 250 or 220. Since back attack cannot be applied to people that are grounded, the one that replaces it are the down attack modifiers. The air attack adds another 100% on PvE and another 70% in PvP. Now buffs and debuffs are somewhat a similar mechanics in a lot of games. This is the one that weakens your enemies and then strengthens yourself so that the gap between the defense and the damage is widened meaning that you could deal more damage and in turn finish your enemies quickly. So in order for you to identify which skill has a debuff or a buff is by going to your skill window and opening up one of your skills. So you would see over here the close quarter charge for Corsair has a minus 15 DP for 10 seconds and also a buff of plus 6% evasion and plus 20% movement speed. For the pirate's life for me it has a plus 20 AP which is very effective when you're chaining off a minus DP. So in order for you to see it on the screen, you would see that the debuff is applied on top of the screen where the HP bar of your enemy is 
and the buffs that you have is on the buff list for your UI depending on where you put it. So also in the game there are some skill instructors that you could find through the NPC finder that lets you add skill add-ons. Now like mine is not optimal as I'm still experimenting with Corsair but like this one can give you different ones depending on what your playstyle is. So if you are just like going over for PvE then AP against monster is best for you but if you like doing RBF or the red battlefield in arena then the damage to humans plus like the penalties for the dp evasion and accuracy and attack speed might be more suited for you so you could go ahead and this will um go into this one but it does still depend on your level so make sure you're ha you have a character that at least level 60 in order to unlock all of these skills so guys those are the basics for the debuffs the buffs the CCs and there's still a lot of things that you can explore on this one as there's a lot of variants and things that could affect a combat especially for PvE and PvP certain people have different skill sets and also some monster have resistances that cannot be applied with CCs so I don't want this to be more complicated than it is for newer players and what I would suggest is that you venture out to the battle arena Make sure to practice some of your skills to be able to get familiar with what applies to what and then go from there as this one would really be helpful once you're out there to make sure that you have optimal gains and also be able to fight other players using other classes. Thank you guys for watching and if you have found this video to be helpful please do consider subscribing and sharing as this would help me in creating more quality videos in the future and if you have any comments or would like to share your thoughts please feel free to leave a comment down below and as always i'll see you guys on the next video